Jesus. So, uh, as, uh, a Christian friend asked me that, uh, why is it that Muslims don't uh, eat pork? In fact, I couldn't give him any concrete answer. I just told him that uh, it's not good for human health. But I don't think that uh, should be correct. Why don't, don't the Christians eat dogs? <laughs> or snakes or many other things. Yeah. The point is, if you ask these whys, there can't be given one single answer for every people. Because different people in the world have different eating habits. And the whys can't explain things. If you ask the same question of why to a Christian, what will he say? He will say it is uh, bad for them. If he says that, you say, all right, go to China and find out how healthy they are. They have less heart attacks than you people have. They have less cancer disease. Incidence, incidence of cancer is less in China than in European countries. Similarly, they are suffering less from gonorrhea and syphilis and other diseases. So, but they eat dogs. They have almost finished dogs from their land. <laughs> and they eat uh, snakes, and they eat uh, worms, and they eat uh, rats. Why don't Christians eat them? Can they explain why in every case? Uh, some Christians uh, eat dog, dogs. Uh, but they, they still don't eat rats. <laughs> <laughs> why? The first the point is I'm pointing out that this question of why cannot be explained by them themselves, but do their own habits. So what right have they to ask us? In eating habits, people are different. And despite the fact that they don't know the reasons why, yet they follow their traditions. So if they follow human traditions blindly in eating habits, if it is supposed that a word, that it is a word of God, Allah wants you not to eat it, then there is no why. Why should there be a why when it is a word of Allah and no why when there is a custom of the people? You follow my point or no? The point is that suppose you can't explain why you can't don't eat pork. Then what? The Christians can't explain why they don't eat so many other things. Yet they don't eat them. For that, those habits, they have no reason whatsoever. But for your abstaining from war, you have a reason, and a very good sound reason for that, that God has forbidden you. And that is reason enough, because the fundamental principle in which the Muslims believe is that Allah is the proprietor and the creator of everything. The rights of proprietary go to Him. And without his permission, you can't do anything. So the simple answer is, for his, for this thing, he has not given us permission. And he wants to establish his right. And the, this is the same God who forbade, forbade the same animal to the Christians and Jews. So the question is not only directed to Muslims, but also to the Christians themselves and to the Jews earlier before them. Because you have to tell them that in this we share this, not with you and with, with Jews. Because the Old Testament has forbidden the eating of pork, eating of pig, very categorically. And Jesus Christ has never permitted his followers to start eating pork. You can challenge them. When one verse from the New Testament, permitting the Jew, Christians to start eating pork. The same old order continues to hold good as long as it is not cancelled. Right? Yeah. So, you can tell them, well, first one way of, of answering is I already have explained. The other way is that you can counterattack and you say, well, right, if we don't know the reason why, you should know the reason better because before Muslims began, came to being, you were already in existence, the Christians and the Jews too before you. And you all believe in the same thing and you don't ask this question to your own forefathers. And you have started asking this to us who came at the end following you. 